Hey everybody, Adam Culbertson here. When you finish this episode, or right now, add another Creative Typo Entertainment podcast into your feed. Here's a promo for one right now. Make sure you go and check it out. After the mysterious death of his father, Vartan returns home to uncover the truth with the help of his newfound friends, Baya and Ovik. But his hometown of Eternal may have something even more sinister in store for them. Join us for their journey into the untold at etherealembracepodcast.com or anywhere you listen to podcasts by searching for Ethereal Embrace. Steal your mind, for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphones and Monsters. First bar actually takes to the sky, flies up and 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 starts like shooting missiles out like missiles pop up out of her sho- like a like missile holders pop up out of her shoulders and she just starts raining missiles out Damn. of her mech suit. Evangeline is just she's all she's in her rogue gear again and she's just she's just slicing through everybody like just dashing between between different people in the in this fight, um, Shadow is napping in the corner. Shadow is using his teleportals and he's portaling all over to the different kill marks, and and using his his claws actually to to slice them up. I want to tiny claws or is this like Dreamland's like normal Shadow? Mm-hmm. This is Dreamland's normal Shadow. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. It, he doesn't t- have his robot t- Teleport suit. kills. Yeah. Can yeah, he become he's using like electricity? Like the little electricity <laughs> gremlin gremlins to like elect- electrify part of the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's what he's doing through the teleportals. He's like, it's like he's like you're just all over the place with his, with his magic claws. Doing your best to get <laughs> Gremlins 2 reference whenever you can. <laughs> <laughs> I love Gremlins 2. <laughs> Gimbal and Bracket, exploding crossbow. Yep. Tried and true. Exploding crossbow bolts. Uh, bra- this, That's the original does bracket. Does Bracket have a... Well, yeah, if this is the original Bracket, he had a hammer. Yeah, it was it was the alternate uh, bracket that had an axe. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's right, that's right. Yeah, he's he's got a hammer um, as well, and he's just he's just smashing. He's doing his uh, his uh, twirly spin, mm-hmm. like whirl whirlwind hammer spin. Just dunk, 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 mm-hmm. dunk. like the cyclone that's, from that's Chrono a, Trigger. Yes, Only yeah, cyclone. Yeah. <laughs> as, as a warforged, I like to think that his head actually doesn't move; it just stays like yeah, looking forward. Go. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. That's, good. that's good. Well, that's why. I or actually, yell his him, legs, yell about his legs don't good. move, and his head it's, doesn't it's move. Just it's just his torso, torso, torso that's spinning. Cool. <laughs> he's, he's just he's just running through, just spinning his torso with just the, the hammer. Just a terrorizer. Oh yeah, because it's, um, it's got all the little bumpies at the end of the hammer. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sarah is actually out there, and she like you're witnessing her like th- this isn't just in a single round. Like this is all happening. It's just um, kind of going on. It's just kind of going on. Yeah, um, Sarah, as as creatures are trying to attack your allies, she is she is shielding them and, and keeping them from getting hit and and offering assistance and 
healing as well. Nice. Nice. Way to be a what team about Gerbo? player. What's Gerbo doing? You said Gerbo was Gerbo's there. Gerbo's protecting uh, Gerby. Well, Gerby's Gerby not, is there, not just there. Gerbo. No. Gerdy, Gerbo <laughs> Ger Gerby's in the that. papoose and Gerbo is like shooting dudes. Gerby's cooking the <laughs> bike and bringing it to Janice because they're hanging out because Gerbo's not there. You know, like bringing, you know, Gerby to visit and <laughs> say hello. Trying to make him feel better about Gertie the is. impending multiverse. Well, I mean, war. like Gertie, Gertie would already be friends with Janice, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah that's what I yeah, mean. Gertie, is that they're they're some of the only ones left. Like I imagine everyone else in the DDA is just hanging out. They're not mm -hmm. there. They're just yeah. They're, 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 they're not on screen. No, no that's I what mean, we're saying. I mean, like they're they're, they're just the chilling. Yeah. that's what I mean. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, what, what, that's what he was saying. Yeah. Um, but Gerbo, I imagine Gerbo would be healing as well. Like like doctor. Yeah, people. he's just got his crossbow. He's he's actually been struggling to get it like actually pulled back like the whole time. <laughs> so actually, Gerbo has has uh, modified the crossbow as a like range healing like administering Ooh. thing. <laughs> it's Fancy. just syringes on the ends of. Yeah, sticks. he's like shooting syringes <laughs> at people that are taking the hits. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like. Oh, that should fix you right up there. I'm bleeding. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's just like ah. Oh, actually, oh, that feels better. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you should be better now. Just, 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 just push the guts back into your stomach. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hold him there while this, while this potion heals it up. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. I took some of your potions in the lab, Julian. What you bitch? Those are mine. <laughs> you don't remember how to use them anyway. I don't. It, somebody had already <laughs> taken some, so I I thought it was okay. It's fine. It's fine. I did not say that. I did not say that to Kerpo. Uh, <laughs> like that though. You forgot how to use you them. You forgot how to use them. Just like looking at a potion, like what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I forgot that. He never forgot. <laughs> I, I said that was Victor's understanding. I had a higher calling. <laughs> Copy the other better you. Mm -hmm. That was your higher calling. Uh, but 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 do it better. Other Julian right. did. Um, other Julian didn't control a giant spaceship and shoot the orbital guns from it. No, he just yeah. was in a secret undercover agent for a year with with you know. The pallet mask, mm -hmm. and then he died. Yeah, for a couple that's all, weeks. That's all he did. <laughs> and like the paragon of an entire city. <laughs> he made Carl. He made my best friend. <laughs> he also he made, made Carl. Best that's best right. <laughs> Carl never judges me. Is Carl there? Please tell me Carl's flying around. <laughs> Carl Dropping is not there. Uh, okay. So they just summon straps like a like a giant uh, uh, metal ram on the front of Carl, and he's just like driving through whole like loads of people. <laughs> it's like Carmageddon. He wouldn't he he wouldn't give us a flying amphibious car as, going into the battle. He just, he wouldn't. Do it that. wouldn't fit in the elevator. Uh, would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Per makes perfect sense. <laughs> Gerbo used the button before. <laughs> Move things to and from. Oh, you the mean garage. Manros used the button? That's what I said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, Man Gerbo. Manros put him in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manros hits the button and puts the tattered king guy in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably be a bad idea. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. <laughs> just, just like poor Carl in there at the garage, <laughs> alone with other cars, with other cars <laughs> that don't talk. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the crew, they're they're fighting as well. They got they got cool Dreamland shit going on. More more fighting, physical fighting, magic being casted, uh, technology blast. Uh, technology, like ray gun blast and, and stuff like that. Like there's just all out war, but it looks like it's turned over in y'all's favor after all those successes. And all you see now on the field, other than the dead folks, which I, I would imagine y'all would have been fighting as well oh, yeah. throughout yeah. all that. Like, I would have. Alistair could have kept fearing I don't know. Or actually, it, uh, that that aspect lasts up to a minute. Okay, but definitely over a minute has passed. Let's let's go back to the top of the round, even though rounds are not normal time that they usually are. Mm -hmm. uh, Alistair, you did see dead lib go down. Woo! Dead lib. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it is your turn. Um, well, I guess I'm going to make my way over there. That seems like the most fruitful use of my time. All right. So where you were 
as the rest of either the rest of the troops either died or retreated, you are within your movement speed to get to Detlib. Awesome. And I'm fully prepared to use acrobatics to just kind of jump around on Nimbly Bimbly to where I need to go. Okay. <laughs> You're just jumping on top of stuff so you don't step in blood and Oh, yeah, Iker. of course. Jeez, I don't want to step in any blood or Iker. <laughs> or I don't glue. have time to press the digitator. Or leaping on living people. <laughs> or glue. No, that'd be horrible. Oh. Never get it out. <laughs> so the whole time you're jumping, the green-eyed cat is jumping parallel to you. Oh, hello. Decided uh, to make your presence known. Yes, Alistair. It seems you're about to retrieve the final pieces. Oh, so he does have two pieces then. Well, the two assumptions. The two-piece meal. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Mm, yes. So you arrive. Okay. So, so getting there... Um, like Detlib, I'm assuming, is just kind of laid out on the ground. Yeah, he's still alive, but kind of struggling. Like, he is mangled from things biting him and clawing at him and bashing him, and he is not looking good at all. Hello, Detlib. He's just gurgles. Just <laughs> He's trying to talk, and it's just... <laughs> No, 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 that's okay. Save your energy. I am not really here to take your life. I don't really need your life. I just need the two pieces. That is all. Alistair, perhaps he is brain damaged. <laughs> he is not responding. <laughs> well, that is a fair point. Well, if he's brain damaged, I'm, I'm not really sure if I can force the pieces to detach from him. I mean, I would prefer not to have to kill him, but I suppose if I have to, then I must. Well... You could just consume him and absorb everything into you. Well, I I suppose that would work, yes. No time so, like um, present. I, I don't suppose you have any tricks to how you did the, the jaw thing before, do you? Mm. Oh, you remember that? Uh, well, uh, vaguely. That, that That's about all I remember. Why not? I don't know. Things may not be as they seem. Um, well, I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but, uh... Maybe maybe I should just try to consume him and see what happens. And well, I was trying to tell you to activate the eye, but um, oh, you whatever. Mean, whatever. You mean the heart? Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was trying to tell you to activate the heart. Oh, yes. I, I suppose that makes more sense. Thank you. Alistair will turn on the heart, which... Hopefully nobody else, uh, at least in our group, is 120 feet close to me because uh, <laughs> you might get a little bit of a rude uh, rude surprise here. Oh, there totally is people within 120 feet of you that are on that are an ally. Well, it sucks for them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> at least we know how to deal with it. So when you activate it, you see Detlib, but you don't see Detlib. You see yourself laying on the ground. Huh. Well, that is quite curious. Not not you with the stripes, everything. It's you as Just a plain black, jet black. A black cat. There is some changes from the different items that he has, but from from magic items, but it's not the same as yours. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, I suppose that maybe explains where Deadlib came from. It must have been an alternate me. Well, I suppose that means that I'm the better me. <laughs> Suck it, Shadow. <laughs> says, says, says the guy that convinced a bunch of people to beat up his other self. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess that would go without saying. I mean, we are... <laughs> we are Alistair. Yes, try that jaw opening thing. Uh, uh, yes, uh, why not? Win in the dreamlands. All right. So, Julian and Victor, <laughs> if you are looking in Alistair's Man, direction, I really don't want you to. see. <laughs> yeah. I feel like in, 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 in all the stuff that was going on, when he turns the thing on, you know, Victor would try to look at what he's turning it on to see, I guess, while beating things up like a monk. Yeah. Well, things have calmed down at the 
things are calming down oh, at the okay. moment. Like maybe you're maybe you're doing some final blows, like to things yeah. that are on the ground. Final blows. Yeah, and, we're, and we're then... just doing the terrible thing of like going through the battlefield and see who's alive, and then you know doing the coup de gras on all of them. You know that that would be something yeah. that Julian would that do. That horrible oh. bit that happens. <laughs> I don't think Victor's um, walking around finishing y'all people. Y'all would off. have caught Alistair, a little flaming cat, just hopping on people uh, to get to another big cat on the ground. And you're witnessing this big jaguar sized cat, and you see Alistair's head start to grow in size as his mouth opens up large and completely consumes dead Ooh. limb. Wow. <laughs> I forget, was Victor awake or asleep when the thing happened in the dreamlands with the big oh, giant? Oh, when, 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 yeah. when he opened I can't up with remember. all the uh, Biaki? Yeah, I can't uh, remember. Uh, I, th- I, I feel like Victor was awake. I don't remember. Yeah, Victor was awake because it was after after, yeah, Vic- Victor was awake because his body was asleep. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Exactly. But, you, but only Alistair saw the green eyed cat giant. Oh, that's also okay. true. Oh, it. that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. So nobody else would have seen that. Um, but Alistair's mouth just grew like 10 times. Alistair's mouth times. grew three sizes that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he ate Detlib. From Alistair's perspective, he ate a little cat. Um, from y'all's perspective, he ate a jaguar side. A little house cat when ate a jaguar see, side. We, don't we see the bite. effects of the heart as well? Um, I hmm. that still stands. You only see Dead Lib as you've always seen him. Okay. Alistair sees him as himself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. 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 I just I thought that even we though all you saw. you you do notice that you are seeing things as they truly are. Okay. So he um, only he can see that thing. Okay. Got it. No problem. But he only sees himself. Interesting. And uh, you just did the thing that he's... Nibbler does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was just fast, like just mm-hmm. one one bite. He's his head's back down to normal size, and you see his normal flickering in his in his stripes start to to pick up as he's like licking his paw from eating something. You know, he's like. Cleaning I mean, you himself. gotta clean up after yourself. And the stripes start to spread throughout more over over his body as he completely turns into flames. Still a cat, still cleaning himself, all flames. Like is there a physical cat or is he like a sort of a ghostly image of a cat inside of constant living flame? He is a right. flame. Like um, he, well, it's he is a flame, the, flame, flame in the shape of a cat. He's a, he's a flame. He is green flames in the shape of a cat. Okay. Okay. I thought he was like what's his face, like Billy Crystal from Howl's Moving Castle. I can't. I can't remember <laughs> his name. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the yeah, the fire. Yeah, yeah, the little flame. Yeah. Uh, or, I haven't seen it's that. It's so Victor's turn. Billy Crystal from City Slickers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly yeah. that. Alistair, Alistair now, now looks like Billy Crystal yeah, from City Alistair Slickers. Alistair is, 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 is a late thirties man wearing a Yankees ball cap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what what does Victor do as this is all calming down? You just watched Alistair do uh, that. Time is not normal like it is in combat. You over and it's put just your out. turn. The, yeah, like like Victor would just be like. Eh. Uh, Alistair, what what just happened? You can act normal. I, I can have time to respond. You mean? Yes, you have. Yeah, just yeah. Oh well, I was just obtaining the other pieces. You ate that lib. Your head got all big. Julian, did you see that? Did anyone else see that? <laughs> see what? <laughs> and I'll just well, go ahead and just like fry another, you know monster that's on the ground. Well, well, I didn't have much choice. I I didn't have any other way of obtaining the pieces. Okay. So, that's all of them now? Um, well, let me see. And and I'll just kind of try and feel... (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Try and feel the pieces. (laughs) I've become a five-piece nugget. Do I feel feel all six? Oh, it's six. You would feel whole. Well, yes, I, I do feel rather complete. And I, I guess congratulations. Well, yes, um, it, I suppose congratulations are in order. 
And uh, I suppose once once we are done here, then I can go about and complete my business. You should have done that before the countdown <laughs> when we were on this ship. Uh, th- th- no, no, that's, that's not what I meant. Uh, Alistair, he's just wasting our time with his questions. And you hear that, Victor, from Alistair's mouth. Uh, sorry, Alistair, I didn't mean to waste your time. Well, well, is it in Alistair's it, voice? It, it, it is, is what it is. in the Green Eye Cat voice? No. Oh, oh, oh okay. It is in oh, it Green Eye Cat's voice. But it's from Alistair's mm-hmm. mouth. Okay, well, that's the not f- what Victor would have said then. Victor would have been like, I, I don't, Alistair, that's your imaginary friend. I told you, he's not imaginary. He's very real. All right. I, You've seen him. You know I, that he's I, I real. I would have, like, walked up as I had finished, you know, disposing of the rest of the whatever's on the ground. Okay, what's, 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 uh, we, we, we triumph. Well, I mean, I figured you guys would be happier. What's what's going on? Oh well, well, I just uh, managed to get the the rest of the pieces of torture, and and I I can feel that that the power it is it is it is whole. It feels right. Yes, very complete. Victor, why does he have two voices? It's it's the other one, the one that we saw in Shadow's basement. Oh, his imaginary friend? Yeah, he's I, talking I out of you, Alistair's he's not mouth. imaginary. I'm not imaginary. Yes, yeah, see? Alistair, that's coming out of your mouth. Well, I, I suppose maybe something happened with the last pieces of torture. Maybe maybe we have um, combined somehow. I don't think we're done here. Well, well, yes, of course not. I know uh, I really will not have the peace to be able to complete my works until Haster has been dealt with. Yes. I believe one of them... That tattered fool had jumped off of that creature. Yeah, I, I tried to get him, but it hit his lizard horse. Lizard horse. <laughs> <sighs> uh, it did. Yeah. Yes, uh, that is a yathen for your simple minds. Yes, see, I didn't know that. If if this were just an imaginary friend, then, you know, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that because I didn't know. I don't know which Alistair annoys me more now. <laughs> uh, I, he's made out of fire now. Let's not upset him. Let's, uh... He's right. We probably should regroup and figure out what's going on. Let's go find... I'm gonna go find Sarah. Just... Don't die before I go find her. Alistair squared. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... So, as you say that, you're looking around, you're walking around and all noise that was going on from everybody around you, the screams and agony from, from being injured, people yelling out to each other, some people cheering um, in, in victory, all of that goes silent. And you still see everybody moving, talking, screaming, yelling, but you don't hear it, all three of okay. you. You don't even hear each other talking anymore. And all three of you here, you thought it was going to be that easy. Well, I can't say that I thought it was necessarily going to be that easy, but I guess I was Richard, surprised. It's not what you say. Uh, the, no. the correct thing you say is, you know, for a second there, yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> I did. And... Uh, the voice is coming from a direction for all three of you, and you see a even more disturbing tattered king than the pallid mask that you saw before. Wonderful. And Boyfriend. the pallid tattered. <laughs> we've met before in that hospital basement when I possessed that cat, Tanasha. I believe was her name. Uh, yes, that was the one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is Alistair's still cocky now. He's like, yeah, I got all my pieces. <laughs> what, bro? <laughs> Come at me. I am the emissary of Haster. You know me as the Tattered King. And now you're all going to die in your own special little hells. Well, you know, speaking of how easy you might think things are, I, I'm not sure you 
uh, understand quite how difficult that might be. Yeah, you're living your own personal hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't hear Alistair know, talking. Know, no, y'all, y'all do not hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and you have nobody to help you. So, how about those Tulsha pieces? Alistair has all six now, and he is just a green flame cat with two voices that act like they're different people. Oh, and the Tattered King has separated the three of us once again with his magic powers and uh, is unhappy with us. That, too. You know, Victor's not the best uh, at fighting on his own. Uh, The other two usually have a little bit more control over the situation in general. So maybe he'll be okay? Maybe. Who knows? I guess I do. But you don't. Good luck. If you're interested to learn more about us and uh, our... uh, organization go ahead and head on over to the uh creative typo website it's got links to all of our uh various content there we've got dramas like audio dramas we've got you know let's plays we've got merch we got things you can buy all that stuff is there um also uh be sure to go and uh leave microphones and monsters a good review leave reviews on the shows leave review on the you know show itself I, d- I don't know how it works on most of them but wherever you can leave a review please do so it helps increase our visibility it helps people know what we're about uh, the different things that you uh, like about the show all of that is super uh, helpful and we really appreciate any time that you can give us uh, for doing that all music in today's episode was written and produced by Marco Mazzi of Fallen Highway Studios and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and that you don't have to wait too long to hear what happens next. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.